Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will learn one of the most important widget to show scrolling elements called list view. So without wasting time, let's get started. List view is the most common choice for scrolling a list of widget arranged linearly. The scrolling can be made either in vertical or in horizontal direction. List view class has got four different constructor. The simple list view, then the list view dot builder, list view dot separated, and the last one is list view dot custom. In this specific video, I will focus only on the constructor called list view. In our upcoming videos, one by one, I will talk about the remaining constructors. Now let's understand the basic use of this list view constructor. Whenever we have a fixed number of elements to be shown, for example, let's say we have some course app design, and in that application, we only have 10 number of courses right now. So as long as the application source code is not going to modify, the number of courses are remain 10. So uh, for that specific uh, use, we can make the use of list view. On other hand, uh, when we have the uh, number of elements uh, goes on changing with respect to time, for example, when we look at uh, say YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, so number of elements in that scroll view goes on changing means it goes on updating or it's uh, not fixed. So in that kind of situation, we use list view dot builder instead of the list view. Let's understand properties of list view one by one. Children is the most important property of list view that takes list of widget as a parameter and all the widgets placed here are displayed as a scrollable list of items. Let me add some container inside this list. Now we have got six different containers inside this list view and you can see here as we can see only three containers on the screen. So for getting remaining containers means to get those containers, we simply have to scroll and as we scroll, we can see the remaining elements in the list. So this is how a list view is displayed in your application. By default, scrolling in list view appears in the vertical direction. We can change it to horizontal by using a property called scroll direction. And for the scroll direction, we have to pass a value in the form of axis. So here we can pass value in the form of axis dot vertical which is the by default value that allows us to pass the value in vertical direction. And if you want to change it to horizontal, simply go to write here axis dot horizontal. And let me save the code. I know that it won't have any effect because we simply have a height here. So let me change this height to width. Now after modifying height to width, we can see here, we have got a list view which can scroll in the horizontal direction. And in order to make it uh, with some uh, fixed height, what I need to do, simply wrap this list view inside some container, let's say size box. So in this case, I will wrap inside, say, uh, size box. Let's write here, wrap it widget, and write here, say, size box, and provide some height for this. Let's say I will provide height of, say, 300 pixel. Let's save here, and you will find the change here that now my scroll view means that list view has got a fixed height of 300 pixels. And as I can scroll here, you can see here, I can scroll in the horizontal direction to get my horizontal list view. Scroll direction can be made reverse by using this reverse is equal to true. By default value for this reverse is false and that's the reason in every list view, the original order in which we add the element will, will be preserved and will get uh, the sequence of item same we have placed on the list view. Now if you want to reverse that one, simply use say reverse is equal to true and when you save here, you'll find that items are reverse. So we have the item 5 at the first, then the 4, 3, 2 and at the end we have the item 1. Physics property determines the bouncing effect to be shown when end of the list is reached. You can observe here, when uh, I am just scrolling up, you can see here, there is some uh, scrolling effect with the green color at the top. And when I scroll down and when I reach at end, and if I try to scroll again, you can observe here, I am getting again some bouncing effect at the end of screen. Now, by default, the bouncing effect that we get is the clamp scrolling physics. Now, we can change it to say bouncing scrolling physics. So, let's write here, bouncing then uh, scroll physics so let me save here and let me show the change so bouncing scroll physics indicate whenever we are reached at, at the end of the list view and when we try to scroll it will show some bouncing effect so you can see here when i'm just scrolling here i'm getting some bouncing at the end and same thing will happen at the uh, starting of the list for example if i just scroll again you can see here there is some bouncing effect happening and if you want that your scroll view means your list view should not scroll there should not be any scrolling we can write here say never scroll physics so when we write here say never scrollable scroll physics so your list is not going to scroll at all you can see here it's not going to scroll here so we cannot scroll now to maintain consistency with ui design we can also provide padding for our list view 
let's say if i pass a padding of say 20 pixel so let me save here you can observe here there is a padding of 20 pixel all across four sides of the list view for enabling wrapping or shrinking of list view we can use shrink wrap is equals to true which makes list view to display as small as to hold the number of elements in order to show this shrink wrap we have to just make a little uh, change in the application you can see here we simply have a container that contains a margin so that we can understand that the wrapping or shrinking is happening here and to understand the wrapping properly we simply have a border with the black color here we have a list view that contains only two different containers uh, which can simply be hold inside this list view you can see here uh, the value for shrink wrap is false that's why uh, this particular list view has got a complete space means it has acquired entire uh, height on the screen okay actually as we have wrapped it inside the container so it cannot get the complete height it is getting the height just provided by the container and let's say if i make it say true so what will happen here list view will try to shrink uh, it itself uh, in vertical and as well as in horizontal direction so let's save here and you can observe now list view has got the small size as possible for it list view has a property called item extend that forces the given extent of height or width to each and every children of list view let me explain you can observe here we have different containers inside the list view and each container has a different height it means each one has a different extent of height now let's say if i just uncomment this item extent so as the value of this item extent is 200 so for that reason each and every element that is each and every container present inside this list view will be forced to have the 200 pixel height extent so let me save here and you can see the changes on screen each container is now got the height of 200 pixel now what if your list view has the horizontal scrolling in that case this 200 won't be for the height this 200 will be represented for the uh, width of every element in the list view the property called prototype item requires a widget and now whatever height or width constraint that widget has that constraint will be forced for each and every element of list view for example we can observe here this list view has got the different uh, container with some different height here and uh, let me uncomment this prototype item you can see here as in this prototype item the height of uh, the specific size box is 300 and for that reason all the elements of this list view will have the exact height which is given by this size box so let me save here and you will observe now all the elements will have height of 300 pixels here and now let me change uh, the height to say width and let me explain what will happen uh, with this width value 200 we can see here i have changed the scroll direction to axis dot horizontal and now we have a container with different width and you can see here we have different containers having the different width here and now let me uncomment this prototype item so let me save here we'll observe now whatever width that i have specified with the size box all the uh, elements in list that is all the container will have exact same width of 200 pixels here now don't get confused between this item extend and prototype item in case of item extend we simply have to specify the uh, specific width or height uh, but in case of prototype item we can specify the width and height in the form of a widget so whatever extent that widget has so that extend will be applied to each and every element of list view for determining whether it is a primary scroll view of your parent widget or not we can use the property primary to true uh, in case of application we can have a different scroll view in a single parent so in that case we can have a nesting of scroll view so in, in order to determine which one is the primary uh, scroll view we can simply make uh, the use of this primary property controller is one of the most important property in the list view if you want to scroll a list view programmatically or to perform different scrolling operations based on the user activity we can make the use of this controller and it requires the object of the scroll controller let's understand some examples for the controller let's say we have a list of elements here and when we tap this left side button uh, your list should scroll at the end and when we tap the right side button your list should scroll at the beginning then in order to perform this type of scrolling we need to use the controller let's understand one more example let's say we have some titles at the top and based on the titles that we have tap so uh, the appropriate uh, part of the list view will, will scroll and that will appear as the beginning of list view in this video i'm not going to explain the controller practically in our upcoming sessions i will create uh, different videos to understand uh, the use of controller with different examples now let's understand the use of property called catch extent. 
cache extend has a great impact on performance in case of list view dot builder but in case of list view as all the elements are loaded at once and that's why i cannot explain or i cannot show you the practical uh, example for that cache extend but in the video when we will talk about that list view dot builder uh, you will get uh, the practical example and uh, you will understand what is the exact use of that um, catch extend but uh, for this video just try to understand the theory part here whatever area that is visible to us that area is called visible area or viewport and at the top we have leading edge and at the bottom we have the trailing edge consider we have 10 different elements to be shown inside the screen so 10 different element will be created and that will be shown inside this visible area so what flutter will do uh, for next uh, some element for example so one element or two element flutter will have some catch and that catch is in the form of pixel for example say 200 pixel so if you are single element uh, can be placed in 200 pixel so only one element will be made ready in the memory okay as it is not get visible but it is ready in the memory to get visible and same thing will happen when uh, your element will get out of the visible area means when you scroll and your element get out of this visible area still that element is there in the memory so what will happen uh, flutter will have uh, the catch for uh, say at least for one or two element now if you want to increase that catch so you can use say catch extend is equals to miss catch extend with some different pixel let's say uh, we have made say catch extend of say 500 pixel so what will happen whatever element that can be placed inside this 500 pixel value so those many elements will be made uh, already present in the memory okay i hope you understood what i am saying here uh, and same thing will happen at the leading edge here so as the value of this catch extend goes on increasing flutter will enhance its future capacity to hold the element before it is getting visible or uh, after it is uh, getting uh, out of visible area now let's understand the property called keyboard dismiss behavior you can see here inside this list view intentionally i have placed a text field inside the padding you can see here we have a text field here let's create something here let's say if i write flutter here and you can observe now when i just start the scrolling of this list view you can see here this keyboard is not dismissed this is because value for this keyboard dismissible is actually the scroll view keyboard dismissible behavior dot manual means manually we have to dismiss this keyboard it is not getting uh, just say dismissed automatically so we have to just manually dismiss then only this keyboard is getting dismissed or say disappear in order to make it dismiss or say disappear instead of using manually we can use a property called say on drag so let me save here and let me just type uh, some text here let's say flutter again and you can observe now when i click inside this list view and when i start uh, say dragging uh, the list view automatically keyboard get disappear so let me click here again and when i drag here you can see keyboard got dismissed list view has two different properties called automatic keep alive and add depend boundary default value for both is true and when you make their value false so flutter will make item ready for garbage collection when scrolled out of the visible area that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful knowledgeable and having the complete detail then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos